Hi everybody, um, I apologize that there was no spiritual bonus video today. I had a bit of an emergency yesterday regarding my cat that took up a lot of my energy and I could not really perform well. Um, he's fine, it's nothing serious or anything like that, but it was just a stressful day overall. Um, So, I will begin today's spiritual wellness. Um, I would also be on the lookout for other videos in terms of how to bring your wellness into yourself and how to really kind of um, figure out how to bring yourself back up from a lower vibration, if that makes sense. So. Um, I have a, another video idea coming up soon, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, so as usual, these videos would be as if I'm reading you right now. Um, so if you happen to find a pot, if you happen to be a, if you happen to, I can't get the phrase right, but if you happen to find this video through YouTube, this message is for you right now. So this is for today, September, or September, geez, October 21st. And if you're new to this channel and you're new to these wellness um, readings, I use the elemental cross and I and the five elements, the so earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. And I use these energies to help bring balance into my personal life. So if I'm going through something difficult, I lay out this spread and I kind of see what needs work in order to bring the chaos into harmony and really kind of figure out what, um, kind of like how to balance the chaos in my life. I don't particularly do well in chaos, um, although I do sometimes thrive in it. So it's all about balance, obviously, in terms of like the good, and the bad and weeding out the bad and amplifying the good and all that. So, um, and typically each position is representative of the element obviously, but also an area of your life. So air re refers to your mental position and your mental state. Um, sometimes if you have a military background, it refers to your upbringing there or if you have a Catholic background, something that's very strict that has an impact on your way of life and how you um, grow up and kind of go about your way of life. Earth represents your physical environment. So it could be anything that's tangible. It could be anything that um, you can see with your two eyes. It could be your job, your relationship, your family, your home life. It could be anything like that, essentially. Um, there's, it's pretty straightforward. Water represents your emotional state often. Um, it's, if you're going through something difficult, it refers to your, um, I wanna say, uh, like your spiritual lesson. So if you are going through something difficult, there could be a lesson involved. Fire represents uh, kind of like the immediate future. So if you're planning on moving, for example, um, the planning and coordinating could be represented by air but then the outcome of that could be represented by the fire um, position and it also represents like it, timing too so from six months to 12 months like within the next year um, depending on the context it could be as quick as a couple of weeks or a couple of days um, but typically it's much slower than that and the center position is spirit the spirit is uh, working on 
utilizing these elements to manifest the world around you and to manifest your reality. So if you're into vision boards and stuff like that, the spread is really good for you in the sense that it can help bring clarity to your dreams and goals and ambitions. Um, so, and then there are subtleties with the spread in the sense that if there are too much of an element, there can be an imbalance, or if there's too little of an element, there could be a real lack of something, um, which could also create an imbalance. Uh, the, it also can cause tension, so if there's two opposing elements, then um, there could be tension involved, and you can work through that with me. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's all the subtleties that I, I usually see, and I'm glad um, that was the last thing I said, <laughs> because if you look at the spread, you can it instantly see that the mental energy or the air energy is very prevalent in the spread. Um, you have the six of swords, four of swords, and seven of swords, so nothing too intense, um, although I will say that there are two sevens here, the seven of wands and the seven of swords, and the seven of wands is in its own element, so that kind of amplifies that energy, so I don't think I said that in the intro, but it kind of amplifies that energy and kind of makes things a bit more complicated, a bit more intense, a um, bit more tension. It, it can cause some negative um, vibes if it's in its own element, um, especially with fire as it's very um, aggressive sometimes. So the biggest thing I'm seeing are the two sevens and the three um, swords. So for so this is for tomorrow, the 21st. So you could you could be going through some mental anguish. Um, I'm saying tomorrow, but it should be today, the 21st, if you happen upon this video today, um, the 21st. <laughs> and if so, there 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 is definitely going to be some mental tension um, with the two sevens here. But the nice thing about this though is that you have the six of swords and the four of swords these are relatively calm cards despite the um uh the mental energy here spirit is uh, definitely pushing you to rest the four of swords is all about rest and recovery and not pushing yourself and not doing a lot for yourself you know that sort of thing so some self-care might be needed today for the 21st uh, emotionally, I think the seven of swords, six of swords rather, is really interesting for the water position because in a lot of decks, especially the Raider weight deck, um, which is the typical or traditional uh, tarot imagery, um, you have the boat with the people in it and they're moving um, on the water. So this could just all mean that you're moving towards calmer waters um, emotionally. And then in turn that will manifest in your life um, sometime down the road. However, there is some spiritual stuff going on here with the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands. There's two of the same number here. And the Four of Pentacles too is also saying eventually you might need to feel grounded, you might need to feel more reserved or hold back or like not use as much energy. In other decks, the four of uh, pentacles is, how, is somebody holding their heart closer to their chest, so maybe now is the time not to reveal too much. It's typically what the four of pentacles um, says to me. So I will pull a few more cards to see kind of what the spiritual lesson is. And then since this is speaking of self-care, um, we'll go into the self-care aspect as well for the spiritual balancing. So let's kind of figure out um, what the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands is really speaking to. And because of the two sevens, I'm going to pull seven cards. Um, and I would be flabbergasted if I did not see another seven in this pull. Typically when I see a recurrence like that, it means that um, there is, there is uh, some, some spiritual stuff going on so that I see it again in the card pull. 
So here are seven. I'm just shuffling these cards a bit. And yeah, look at that. Um, the first card is the seven of wands. And then we have the king of pentacles. We have the two of wands, the knight of wands, the empress, the force, which is strength, and the ten of cups. So uh, again, and this is the, the seven of wands which we pulled here. So I do feel like there could be something, some maybe boundary tension, lack of boundaries, maybe in the near future that um, might cause this tension. And, and it could be with a father figure or an older fellow, which is represented by the king of pentacles. The two of swords represent some sort of dilemma. Um, it can be really anything from like not knowing what to choose because two sides of it are equal in the sense that um, either way you can go either way with the dilemma and the outcome will be the same. The knight of so the nine of wands could be how like the timing of it. It could be really quick in the sense that it could happen in the Sagittarius sign. Uh, Sagittarius is at the end of like November beginning of December type of thing. Empress is typically like a mother figure. Um, so maybe it's just saying in order to like get through this challenging tension time, like really take care of yourself, really kind of like come into your own and really nurture yourself. Like the mother, the Empress doesn't have to be a specific mother figure involved. It could just mean nurturing yourself through this challenging time. Um, strength um, says to me that like, Maybe like show some, show some compassion, like show some understanding. Typically, when this card shows up, is that's typically what that means for me. Is like it's um, showing compassion and forgiveness and understanding towards maybe the person involved or just for yourself or everyone surrounding you at this time. Um, there's some kind of like gentleness here. So <clears throat> if you're coming to heed with some tension in your life or coming up to some tension, just take care of yourself a little bit more. Like try not to push yourself, try not to do the extra mile. Now it's not the time to really um, go that distance. And then interesting, we have the 10 of cups here. So I think once you get past this kind of like this anxious tension that may start today or it could be just in general with everything going on in your life right now um, you could come out happier um, so there is a positive outcome here in terms of um, more happiness so I feel like the biggest the biggest maybe the biggest lesson here is to really take care of yourself um, and the four of swords here um, kind of speaks to that as well like the four of swords is all about recovery and having time to yourself and all of that and then these other cards that really highlight that and so since this reading really speaks to um, self-care let's use our self-care deck and see what um, what you really need for today in order to maybe get through the day or to get through a situation or something like that um, so in order to get through today, we have Connect with Fire. Now, that's a very interesting card to pull, especially with the Seven of Wands here. Um, maybe in order, to, in order for you to help, like energetically to help push through this tension, you need to do some magical work and some um, releasing with fire and working with fire. So I highly suggest that we do that. Um, and then I like to pull a card for our shadow self and our light self. So in order for, get, for you to get through today, our light self needs aromatherapy. So um, if you're, if you are interested in aromatherapy or find those benefits um, definitely go for it um, I found definitely found its benefits for your light or shadow self to help get through today um, what your shadow self needs is to connect with crystals 
So if you have a crystal collection, now is really the time to kind of like connect to them and see what they can help for you with and maybe help ground you. And we can also kind of um, pull a few cards to see what the spirit is trying to re release because typically with self-care, that points to a need to um, have some sort of release and figure yourself out maybe or release some anxiety and some tension and negativity, something like that. So why don't we pull a few cards for that? What is um, spirit trying to release for you? The law of cause and effect. Scorpio and universal healing. So I think the law of cause and effect, I think what that is referring to is like, if you, it's like um, every, every action that you do, there's usually some sort of consequence. Um, and that can be a good consequence, that can be a bad consequence. And sometimes like people, maybe not realize that or maybe aren't as aware of, of that concept um, and I do feel like maybe that was like an aspect in in your life previously I know in my last job um, that was definitely an aspect of it uh, where there was a lot of disciplinary action being taken and it caused a lot of stress so uh, for me personally like this 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 speaks to me um, but since this reading is for you I'm reading for you this is kind of like what um, is that referring to so I think it's just if you're going for some sort of uh, release there I feel like it's because there is some um, uh, adversity adversity I think it's adversity yes it's adversity and the and it spirit is trying to help release that from you and c give you some universal healing right here and for it to truly manifest it might happen on in Scorpio of next year since Scorpio is already passed however um, it could also mean timing too because um, Scorp for me when this happened um, it happened in the time of Scorpio of this year so and that kind of speaks to the year timing as well and the Seven of Swords. So I think within a year, you will be released and you will be fully healed from whatever has happened recently for you in terms of some maybe disciplinary action or law of cause and effect or something like that. Um, my camera is about to die, so I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this spiritual wellness balancing meeting for today, November 21st.